Assalamu alaikum dear friends. Do you know how did the Hijri calendar begin? Let's see. The Arabs adopted the lunar system to determine the lunar months, yet they had no calendar. The Arabs used great events to name the years like the year of the elephant Amul Fil, which marks the incident when a mighty king tried with his army to attack and demolish the Kaaba in what is known as Mecca. His army was full of so many huge elephants with armed men on their backs. He didn't succeed as some kind of birds attacked the army and the elephants throwing small stones on them. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was born some time after the year of the elephant. He soon became an orphan as he lost his father and mother. His uncle Abu Talib adopted him. As Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was growing up he acquired a very good reputation among his people Quraysh and was known as the truth teller and the loyal he was honest wise and spiritual and never drank wine at the age of 40 and while he was in his meditation cave Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam received the angel Jibril for the first time and since then His Islam message was started as he was ordered to pass Allah's message to all people and to worship only one God. Soon Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam secretly started his mission and began with his closest relatives and friends. The people of Mecca were pagans and they quickly heard of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's activity that was against their interest. They oppressed him and his followers for 13 years. During these 13 years, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam sent good Muslim followers to other cities and villages to spread the word of Islam. Some people who heard the word came to Mecca and met Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in person. Among those was a delegation from Medina. Those new and good Muslim people from Medina offered refuge to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his followers so when Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam lost all freedom of expression and saw his followers dying from torture he ordered them all to migrate to Medina and he himself followed them in the company of his best friend Abu Bakr radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu now his migration marks a very important event in the islamic history because islam in medina was secure and muslims had all the freedom to spread the word of allah everywhere day after day islam gained more land and more and more followers muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam passed away when the muslim lands were expanding to include all the arabic peninsula azi allah taala anhu was the second muslim caliph during his time The expansion of the Muslim lands was exceptional. One day in 17 years after the Hijra incident and precisely in the year 622 AD the caliph Umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu received a check that was due to the month of Shaban. Muslims till that time still had no calendar of their own. So Umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu wondered which Shaban was it the last is it this current or is it that coming next year because of this incident umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu had a meeting with his assistants and decided to start their own muslim calendar the question was when to start it there were many suggestions of important islamic events but ali ibn abi talib suggested the year when the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam migrated from makkah to medina and that was it So the Muslim calendar was started by the second Muslim caliph Umar radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu in the year 17 AH after Hijra it is also called the Arabic calendar or the Islamic calendar